How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before I continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, hit the notification bell down at the bottom so you can see when I post, and there's the plug. Alright, so today's video is going to be real short, real short. I think I'm just going to talk about my plan for this car for the new year, for 2022. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I just checked my mailbox and I think, yeah, that looks like it. There's the rest of my mesh so I can do that front bumper conversion. So that'll go in the back. Also got a mic. So I'm going to plug this in and see if it works for this video, see if there's a sound quality difference. Testing, 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 one, two, three. All right, I think it, I think it works. I think it works. Okay. Uh. I think I learned my lesson. I will not be buying a microphone from Amazon ever again. I posted the video yesterday and about five hours later I rewatched it to see if anything was like okay with it. And I figured out that after I posted it or hit the publish button, it butchered the audio. Like it was like 10,000 times louder in weird certain spots. Like I was just talking and it was like, it was so loud so I tried to fix it today I deleted that video and then I tried it today and lowered the volume literally lowered it to like you could barely hear it but the mic was helping so you could hear me speak still and then I posted it again and it still it butchered it so I don't know what's wrong with it all I know is I'm not using that mic ever again and here I am talking to you this way because I didn't want to go drive around and record all of that all over again. So I figured it would just be easier to delete all that, those clips and scenes and just talk this way. Where there's no possibility for error as far as mics and sound go. So I hope I'm talking loud enough. 2022. My plan for 2022. First up, the wheels and tires. I already have the wheels picked out, but I'm not going to reveal the wheels until they arrive on my doorstep. I want to keep it a surprise. I don't think anybody, none of my friends, family, I don't think anybody else knows of what wheels I'm getting. So I'd like to keep it that way. And then we'll go to the interior. Well, since, it, since it's cold, I think interior and then exterior of the car in the summer. So interior is going to be the Street Aero steering wheel. It's going to be the suede and brushed carbon fiber to match the my carbon fiber shift knob, also from Street Aero. I will link the I will link the steering wheel and shift knob in the bottom of this video if you guys want to check it out. They they make really good products. I like their shift knob. I've had it for a while. And then I will do the. This will obviously be in one episode, not just one by one. That would be stupid. The NRG wheel hub and quick release and steering wheel. That'll be one episode. Just installing that and taking out the old shit and putting it in. So, yeah, that'll be an episode. And then I will go to the interior carbon fiber pieces from Retrospect Carbon. Um, really looking forward to see how their products work and stuff because I will be getting the out exterior aero kit from them as well and they're like specifically for Dodge Stealth 3000 GT and the VR4 and all years and models and it is like molded off the body line so that stuff should be really really good interior pieces so that will include the armrest um, gauge clusters door handles window switches and it says it includes mirror triangles whatever the hell that is but it comes with two and so yay 
mirror of triangles. That's about it as far as interior goes. I don't really have anything else planned for it. I, I like the interior as it is. No cracked dash. Love the sound system. I might go one or two subs maybe later, but I haven't thought too much about it. But I think once I put those spicy like carbon fiber pieces in it, it'll look really good. We will go to the exterior. So the exterior will be headlights, taillights, side markers. I found a guy who said he would tint them for me around 160 bucks for all three of those. He's gonna smoke them. I think it's gonna look really, really good. Can't wait to see how that looks. Then I think the exterior um, carbon fiber pieces, like I said, also from Retrospect, I'll link their website down below too if any 3000 GT people are looking for aero kits that haven't been found on. I know for a while I was looking for them and like no companies really make them. You have to like, I guess specifically email them and ask them for a custom fit, but Retrospect makes them for our cars, people. Go check them out. And they make them for literally every year of the 3000 GT and Dodge Stealth. They also do like Toyota MR2, Toyota Supra. Uh, I think they do like Skylines and stuff too. They do like the weird cars. The 3SX, downpipe, midpipe, catback exhaust with the quad tips. That's what I was looking for to keep the quad tips. I love how they look. And I didn't want to put like two giant boom cannons on the back of the car that was molded for quad tips. So that leaves one more thing. And that's the wrap. That's the wrap. I've decided I'm gonna go with a dark blue, almost purple, not like a pretty vibrant purple, like a dark, like midnight blue to midnight purple. I think it'll look awesome. And I never see blue 3000 GTs. I see red, white, black, and that weird ugly green color. So, blue, I think I'm gonna go with blue. But who knows, I might look at their, what they offer and see some crazy color and be like, that's the one, I want that one. So I don't really, I would like to, but I don't expect to get all of this shit done at the end of 2022. I know that I have set this list for 2022, but I wanna space it out because it's gonna take a long time. It's a project car, it's a project build. It's, it's... In the head. Yeah, it's all in the head. So anyway, guys, I think that's all I have to say as far as the 2022 build plan goes. Um, the next time I plan on posting is probably Saturday. There's a pop-up meet Saturday night. It's Reapers, Revo Society, and Dauntless. But the last meet I went to didn't really have good lighting as far as filming goes so hopefully this area is more lit and uh, it's brighter so I can actually get some good content that's all I got uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video comment down on the bottom let me know if you like it if you hate what I'm talking about um, let me know what you want to see me do to the car any ideas or tips anything and once again I apologize for the horrible mic I'll see you in the next one bye